guys, if you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins at some of the cheapest prices on the market, make sure you check out my new sponsor, utnfl.com, and use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 5% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team Egg Rush update for you guys. Today is April 15th, a Saturday, and we're going to hop in and show you guys what was inside each and every one of the eggs that revealed today. The first one, of course, the Silver Egg 415 looks exactly the same as the one we've had the past couple of days, and inside it, Again, basically the same types of things. You get a chocolate bunny, maybe two chocolate bunnies. You maybe get a quick sell, kind of a mixture of those types of things. Could be a quick sell anywhere from, I believe, 100 coins to 2,000 coins. So, unfortunately, not a lot of value there, so we won't spend a lot of time on that one. The second one that opened up, the 415 egg, looked like a veteran's pack. You could see that outline of that logo on the very top of it and inside. Yes, indeed, it was a veteran's pack. Unfortunately, not a ton of value here because the veteran packs just don't contain a whole lot. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're also not among like the packs that you really, really hope to get. I mean, it was just one of those things where we were almost kind of, most of us were, I guess, hoping to get some sort of a specific veterans player, and we didn't get that, so that kind of sucks, but a uh, little bit of a disappointment there. Anyway, next one here, the gold, black, and yellow one. Uh, this one, again, same as uh, all the other ones, did open today, 415. And we really didn't have any idea what was going to be inside of this one. A lot of people guessed it might be a Steelers player, and it indeed was a Steelers player. In this case, Alejandro Villanueva, the left tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big dude, six foot nine, by the way. I don't know if that's really that helpful for offensive lines. Some people say it is, some people say it isn't. But 93 run block, not bad. Or 86 run block, excuse me. 93 pass block, so solid attributes there, but not an amazing player, unfortunately. This next one, we finally got to the elites, and this is uh, the purple, gold, and white one. I said this was probably going to be some sort of a Vikings player. I actually thought it might be a legend, maybe like Fran Tarkington, but it ended up being an Anthony Barr, and this may be better than anything like that. This is a really, really nice user control card, guys. If you'd like to user control your linebackers, this is one of the best ones you can have. Six foot five, first of all, it's a big advantage over a lot of the other linebackers. 90 speed, 92 acceleration, big time everything basically i mean it's like great player recognition good block shedding if you were going to not use or control them hit power is decent at an 87 not anything amazing that 94 pursuit though that is pretty nice if you're somebody that doesn't control your user uh if you don't user him every single play but uh overall guys this is definitely one of the better user control linebackers that's currently in the game so if you're looking for an upgrade for your user defender this one might this might be the card to get and last but not least, guys, we did have this one here. And a lot of people thought this was going to be some sort of an Ultimate Legend player. Uh, it looked like it had the Ultimate Legend logo up there at the top. You can kind of see it faded in there in the background. We didn't really know for sure. But indeed, it did end up being an Ultimate Legend pack. Now, don't get me wrong. An Ultimate Legend pack still has some serious value. And you could definitely pull some good stuff out of it. It does contain, like, the guaranteed Ultimate Legend collectibles and things like that. But unfortunately, a little bit of a disappointment. A lot of us were really hoping it would be an actual Ultimate Legend player, and unfortunately, it just was not. So guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Those were the eggs that hatched today. What do you guys think about them? Are you guys happy with them? Are you a little bit disappointed? Let me know in the comment section below. I think I was actually pleasantly surprised by the Anthony Barr one. And pretty much all the rest of them I was a little bit disappointed in, to be honest with you. I guess I guess the Villa Nueva was okay because it was a gold egg. So you can't really expect it to be like one of the best players at its position or anything like that. But uh, overall, a little bit disappointed in the fact that we got the Ultimate Legend pack as opposed to the Ultimate Legend player. So anyways, guys, that is going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.